I mean, that's just incredibly fast. I just want to check where we're at. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I can't keep up with this shit, man. This is super hard. Hello guys, so recently I've watched a video by Ola Englund, great channel by the way, and great guy, um, Ola Englund struggling with uh, Homo Sum, song by Decapitated. And today I will try to show you how not to struggle so much. So the point of this video is to encourage probably the majority of you uh, to even try because I foresee that this song is perceived by the majority of you as too difficult. Alright, it's tricky, but even if you play it like 80% um, of the full tempo, it will be cool and you will have another exercise to practice. Okay, number one. I highly recommend you not to hold a pick like this. It will be much easier if you hold it like that with only the edge visible. Alright? If you hold it like this, you'll probably struggle with uh, picking too deeply between the strings. So hold your pick with only the edge visible. Point number two. It will be an ideal situation when you use your wrist and not so much elbow. If you pick from elbow, you will tense up. So not like... Like this. <laughs> but the motion will look slightly different at original tempo. And another point before we actually start, use short motions of your pick. Back in 2017 I've been interviewing Rusty Cooley, uh, the master of speed, and he told me that the speed comes through the economy of motion. And, and the other thing is when you're picking it's about efficiency. Speed comes through the economy of motion, so so the other. So say for example if we were only picking on one string, the objective would be that your pick never came detached from the string. It would be from one side of the string to the other, never leaving contact okay. with the string. Okay. Yeah, okay. think about think about it like this. Your pick Super never close. your pick never leaves the, the string. <laughs> Super so, you close. See, that? see what I'm talking about? Yeah. You don't it never leaves the stops touching the string. So I think it's good to have it in your mind. Okay, so for me, the biggest problem here was uh, to remember this particular pattern, which is kind of tricky and uh, not so memorable at first sight. On the other hand, very cool and original. And we have to control the tension throughout the whole song. So it's impossible not to tense up at all, but your task will be to, to control it, to, to not to tense up too much. And we have a little puzzle. So first, of course, we have to learn it note by note. Let's try it. Kind of important. We have to start every single cluster of notes, let's say, with a downstroke. And it's accent at the same time. You can clearly see it in the music video, the drummer also do those accents.
and before we play it at full speed, it's good to do some kind of, let's say, translation. Because, um, because it sounds completely different slowly and at full speed. So we have clusters of five, of threes, and of... And these are some kind of puzzles, let's say. And our translation will be something like this. The group of five will sound like this. Completely different sound. And of course, if you play it at full speed, you can't think about every single note. It's too fast. So instead, it's good to think about the accents. Okay, so five and at full speed. And now three. And a group of and last part. So now, as we broke down uh, this riff into smaller parts, it's time to practice. So the next very important thing is uh, the role of the first finger on the fretboard. So actually, after a deeper analysis, uh, I'm not sure about it. Watching live performances of Homo Sam, and we can clearly see that Vogue holds still his first finger. At the same time, I probably uh, was fooled by my eyes, uh, because uh, when you see a music video, mm, something about 12, 13 seconds, you can clearly see that something's going on with his first finger. So if we hold still our first finger, the music notation will look like this. Or if we take into consideration uh, 216, um, it will look like this. So please treat this part of the video as optional. And the riff itself will be just a little easier in this case. So maybe Vok himself will appear in the comment section below and tell us. So of course we have to mute the string. Okay, so when there are pauses here, uh, we have to release uh, all the force from the first finger, and uh, but not losing contact with the string. Like this. Okay, so going back to our puzzles. First we have five, then three, then three again. Um, five, three, three, five, six, and seventh. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the whole song because the Homo Sum is all about this specific rhythm pattern. I'm pretty sure that if you do this, you will cope with the rest of the song. So your main goal should be working on your stamina. You have to be in shape if you want to play the whole song. So in the original video, Ola said that it's a good idea to even add some tempo to the original. Really good idea, but only if you figure out every single note and if you are sure what you are going to play. You can set the metronome to 108, um, but you can also set it to 216. And uh, in this case, you can treat uh, uh, 32s 
as they were just 16s. So it's kind of the same, but it will be written differently. So setting the metronome to 216 might be a little easier for you. Of course, I'm not recommending starting with this tempo, right? Okay, so let's try 180. Okay, so let's try 200. Okay, so let's talk about the picks for a while. Um, actually, I'm using right now uh, two millimeters Andy James signatures, and I switched into them um, after the interview with Andy James back in 2017. And uh, he told me that it's important for the pick to have a point. Well, first of all, I would say use a pick that doesn't give you much resistance in the string. If you're going to use a hard pick, I would kind of say don't use something that's completely flat. Like, what's that? Completely flat. Yeah, exactly. That's going to get caught in the string quite easily. See, I, the reason I use these is they look like bass picks, but they're not. And, okay, okay. Uh, take it. Okay, so because so, they've got a round edge, but they've got the point, so it actually slides off the string yeah, quite so nicely and it's very smooth. Something, it's something between like Big Stubby hmm. and this one. Yeah, it's only a two millimeter. It's only a two mil. And I can tell you that he was right. For me, it's much much easier to use those picks, but it's not about a pick. So here I have Jim, Jim Dunlop nylon. 0.73 millimeters and it's it's the pick that I use to play on my acoustic guitar so it's really bendy as you can see and let's try it out another problem even my signature picks of my channel uh, that Actually, I don't play with them uh, because they are Tortex and I hate Tortex. So Tortex, one millimeter. It's possible, it's possible. It's not about the pick, it's about your technique and it's about your picking style. In my opinion, just choose the pick that you really like and uh, first of all, that you like the specific sound because picks have crazy influence on the type of sound that you are producing. And by the way, this song shows us clearly that Vogue, regards Vogue, or should I say Pozdrawiam Vogue, um, that Vogue is not only a picking machine, but also a really, really good composer. Most of the times, if you here, the, the first riff like this, and you can foresee that uh, the solo will be super fast shredding and stuff like this. And here we have some contrast. The solo is kind of melodic and bu it builds up uh, a really specific atmosphere. Like I said, it's the perfect balance between um, just a few notes uh, during the solo and uh, super fast drumming at the same time. Uh, this, is, this is really cool. What is more, it doesn't matter if you angle your pick like this, slightly, or like Ola did, like this. Of course, it's the minority of guitar, guitar players that pick like this, but it's possible. You can see, for example, Sam Totman from Dragon Force, and he's playing crazy fast riffs like this. So it's possible. So if it's comfortable for you, just stick to your method. Okay, so to sum it up, um, hold your pick the way that you can only see the, the edge of the pick, like this. Pick mostly from your wrist instead of elbow. Think about accents, not the single notes. Try to remember the rhythm pattern and switch your brain from slow to fast tempo because it sounds kind of different. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching and let me 
know in the comment section below if this lesson uh, was uh, useful for you. Of course, be sure to check my band's last single called Off Glowing Again. And the band is called Phoenix Rise. See you next time. Bye.